Good evening everyone, this is Jonathan J. Dog Letterman and you're watching the Anything Bucket on WRPBI TV. Tonight in our studios I have an attorney and a community advocate. Please welcome Lauren Cohen. Lauren, welcome to the Anything Bucket. Thank you, Jonathan. And we're glad you're here this evening because you provide a, a great service. You know, people you. come up here to the United States, the land of opportunity, and they want to do things legally and they want to get their work visa and they want to get their business licensing and everything. And I understand that is something that you specialize in. Mm -hmm. You mentioned something I hadn't heard about, an EB-5. If you could explain that a little sure. bit while telling the audience a little about yourself. Sure. Hi, everybody. Um, yes, Jonathan, I'll start by telling you a little bit about myself. I am an attorney licensed in both Canada and the U.S., came here originally on a green card myself. And several years ago, was asked by my immigration attorney to write a business plan for an investor visa. And I did so, and I liked it, and um, de developed a business out of it. Basically, our business model is we are a team of attorneys and other professionals that offer a very high-level service to attorneys for their clients so that attorneys don't need to deal with the business plan and all the ancillary services. We provide all of those services to them. But because we're attorneys, all of our people are licensed professionals or professional designation of some sort that are the main writing team. It kind of separates us and gives our attorney clients, our attorney referral sources, the confidence that they're going to get a better product. EB-5. So EB-5 is the biggest, hottest thing going on right now in immigration and in the financial world or real estate market because it is an alternative way of raising capital. It's a very inexpensive way of bringing in foreign capital into the country and in exchange for this foreign capital, the foreign investors investment has to be correlated with the creation of 10 new jobs in the U.S. So it's been a huge um, spur for the U.S. in terms of bringing in money while at the same time creating these jobs that would otherwise not be created. And it's, it's a big um, bonus for, in, for um, restaurateurs and um, developers and all types of business owners in the U.S. to find another source of raising capital, especially when the capital markets dried up several years ago. Like a crowdfund. Like, <laughs> like, crowd to that, yes. like a crowdfund, but doing it through the um, foreign investing process yes. and hitting those foreign markets and those foreign venture capitalists that, again, want to have a return on their investment in the United States because it is a great place to, to invest. You know, it's the only place where I know of, and I just had a gentleman here at the TV station, came to this country with, with $5 in his pocket, and 20 years later, he's a multimillionaire. So I'm just going to interrupt you for a moment, not to correct you, but to say that it's a little bit more complex, because the, inve the foreign investor, the advantage to the developer is that the foreign investor is not mostly concerned about their return on investment in an EB-5 case. The foreign investor is most concerned about the job creation and making sure that the investment is sound, because they want their green card. So their main goal, their main focus is, is that green card safe? Are the jobs going to be created so my green card conditions are lifted? The return on investment is kind of secondary. And indeed, you actually can't even provide a guarantee of a return that would actually be contrary to the rules. Right. Excellent. I'm glad that you cleared that up because, again, the, I'm not well-versed. And this is, again, ladies and gentlemen, why you go to a professional like exactly. Lauren to help you out. <laughs> um, because she knows what she's doing. She's been in the uh, industry. Uh, she went through the process. I did. You know, the best way to learn something sometimes is go to somebody who's done it themselves. That's right. mm -hmm. And if you could just elaborate on that uh, and possibly talk about the, the process when somebody comes to you to utilize your services and give us a quick walkthrough of uh, what they would do. I know it's hard to do in the limited time that we have here. Um, it's very complex. It's a very complex area. There's, there's two main, three main types of clients, let's say. The first type of client is the foreign investor that makes a small investment in the U.S. Not small, substantial is the correct word, but not more than generally a hundred or a couple hundred thousand. For an EB-5, the minimum investment is a, a half million or a million depending on where. So let's talk about your traditional foreign investor that everybody knows about. They'd be usually referred to us by their immigration attorney or by a friend. We would help them go through the process of making sure that their visa petition is supported by a qualified business plan. 
Step part two is that you could be a developer, as I said, a restaurateur, an entrepreneur that wants to raise foreign capital. They come to us to develop the whole package of services, ranging from your business plan to your market study to your pro forma. All of our team members uh, provide this, these services. We have an ec two economists on our team. And then we provide the whole package so that you, as the developer, can go and raise that foreign investor capital. That's part two. Part three is that there are also the foreign investors that are investing this half million or a million directly into businesses, existing businesses or new businesses in the U.S. that will seek our, um, our assistance to help them to put the package together to submit. This is the only investment-driven um, program that I know of that is supported or actually uh, mandated by USCIS, United States Citizenship and Immigration Service, which is a division of the US government, obviously. You don't usually have your investments con in any way in, uh, to have any involvement from the government with your investments other than for the SEC to oversee the investment. And again, that's great information to have because a lot of people, they don't know where to look or how to, how to get uh, in line uh, or in, in compliance, we'll say, and that's again where you come in. If somebody wanted to uh, utilize your services because you offer so much between the you know market studies, the business plan, uh, I'm a big fan. I think a business plan is uh, necessary in anything you do, even in life. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't know sure. where you, don't know where you're going to go unless nope. you have a way to get there. You know, there's 70 different ways for me to get from here to uh, the American Cancer Society office. It's which is going to be the best path for me to take. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's, again, where you come in. Right. So if you could uh, tell the viewers uh, how they can connect with you and uh, maybe share a success story or two with them as well. Sure. Um, I could actually share se several success stories, but I'll try to limit it to two. Um, the, the first one would be we had a client not very long ago that brought us a business plan drafted by actually one of our competitors. It was for a traditional um, E2 investment, which means it's a treaty, uh, bilateral treaty with a foreign, a foreign country. In this case, it happened to be Italy. And they came to us and had this, this denial, not a denial, it's actually called a request for evidence, like an appeal on, their, um, on the books. And they needed to have this business plan basically redrafted from scratch. And we took it over and redrafted the whole thing and worked with the client to make sure that we overcame all of the challenges and they got approved. I don't have any actual, I have no experience with um, denials on any of our business plans because it's actually never happened. Another example is on, on EB-5, that, it's a very mandated business plan that has to follow all of these preconceived or uh, prescripted um, d determinations from the government. There are nine components. It's called Matter of Ho, and it's all, it's very, very, I wouldn't say templated, but it's very mandated. We had a business plan that was drafted um, that was brought to us again. This doesn't always happen. We often draft from scratch, but these are success stories. And this business plan was in a shambles. It wasn't organized properly. It was missing a lot of the components, and the client had spent a lot of money putting this together. And um, we helped them to get the approval for their project so that they could raise the money that they needed. And the project is now up and running successfully in Palm Beach. So, And those are great things to share because, you know, here it is. There are no guarantees. No guarantees. I like the track record that you've never been denied. Um, and we're not going to jinx that. That we know of. <laughs> right. And it's, it's great uh, that. And if you can let the viewers know uh, how they can connect oh, with sure. you. Absolutely. So the best ways to connect with us, we have a toll-free number. It's 866-724-0085, 866-724-0085. Or you can visit our website. It's www.ecouncilinc.com. That's E C O U N C I L I N C.com. And my email address is uh, Lauren at L A U R E N at ecouncilinc.com. Again, that's E C O U N C I L I N C.com. And I know from my own personal experience, I went to your website, you have a wealth of information. Thank you. If you could leave the viewers with just one quick nugget um, about using you and your services. I think that the one nugget would be, if you want it done right, you use a team of professionals. And if you need to get an approval and you want to bring money into the country or bring people into the country and be able to live and work and, and 
you know, build the American dream as we talked about. You need to hire us as your um, professional team to make sure that all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed. And we want to thank Lauren from, for being here and giving us a wealth of information into an area that's very, very important for all my viewers out there. We're going to take a little bit of a break and be back with some more guests. And until then, this is Jonathan J. Dog Letterman reminding you to stay positive.